In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Counter-Strike 2 on your Mac. So we're going to be using NVIDIA GeForce Now, which is a cloud gaming service. It has different tiers. I'm on the free tier. So you can just click play on Counter-Strike 2 and it will uh, start looking for a rig. And then there'll be a queue, some people ahead of you. And once you're in place zero, when that reaches zero, then you get into the game and obviously cloud gaming some would say it's not great for FPS it really depends on your connection and um, location and just for the purposes of demonstration I'm actually not using my local server because it has quite a long queue I'm using a American server so my ping will be a bit higher than normal it'll be about 80 but you can see it's not too long of a wait. Uh, the queue does go down quite quickly, provided you're not on a busy server. But normally you will have a longer queue. But right now, the queue time for me isn't too bad. You can upgrade to GeForce Now Priority if you want. Longer session lengths, RTX, and priority access to servers. I personally... Um, don't care about longer session lengths or RTX. The only benefit, real benefit for me would be not having to wait through the queue times, which also means you get better access to, to your closest server. Um, so that would be the benefit. But I think for a lot of people, if you're, if you're a casual gamer, which you probably are if you're, if you're on a MacBook or a Mac, you're probably not super intense about your games, super competitive and want the very best gaming experience. Otherwise, you probably would have just got a gaming computer. I imagine most Mac gamers just want to play a few games now and then on the side. Um, not super stressed about performance. And for them, I think GeForce Now would be fine. It would be comparable, comparable to, you know, using crossover or using some translation tools or using parallels they they all have their own downsides with crossover obviously you do have the benefit that you would be running the game locally and that would mean uh, you have quicker response time so as you can see it's already started loading and that was only around uh, a three minute queue time I think it wasn't too long it was less than three minutes so I'm gonna need to log in and this is the server I'm on, NPNWK. So I'm at 1920 by 1200 resolution. The nice thing with GeForce now is you can run at that um, aspect ratio, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, and it perfectly fits the MacBook screen aspect ratio, or at least the MacBook I'm using, which is a MacBook Pro. 13 inch 2020 m1 so let's see how it performs so here we are in the game show you my graphic settings 1920 and yeah those were the graphic settings let's have a quick look at the Anubis map so they have made some new map changes with uh, with Counter-Strike 2 it's not a massive change it's like an a bit like an Overwatch 2 upgrade It looks kind of like the same game to me. I, I imagine if you've been playing this every day, then it's probably more. We're just going to spectate because we just want to see how it runs. So I'm just going to spectate this guy.
So as you can see, it does hover around 60 FPS, but it does dip down below 60 sometimes. And this is the RTX 2080 rig that I'm using of GeForce Now. You can't get to select that, you, that gets randomly assigned. But 2080 is pretty decent, I would say. The only way you could you could get the, if you want the higher up rig, then you want to upgrade to GeForce Now Ultimate, which will give you access to 4080 or a 3080. And you can see here, this is the time remaining. I have 56 minutes left. You get one hour when you're on the free free tier of GeForce now. I think the water effects look really nice in this game. Look at the water. It's really uh, realistic. Wow. Yeah, this map just looks really nice. So what they've done with CS2 is they've made the maps a bit brighter, more vibrant, which I think is good, especially with cloud gaming. The more vibrant looking the game, the better it will look when it comes to uh, the compression. You want more vibrant games because Darker games tend to suffer from compression artifacts. Okay, you can see here the frame rate is really dropping quite heavily. So this is not too great, I would say. I didn't expect that CS2 would be so demanding. Or at least more, so much more demanding. I think CSGO actually ran really well, from what I remember. I didn't really get a chance to try it, uh, but I think it did run better than this. So maybe they have some optimization work to do, or maybe it's just the the new graphics that are more demanding. It doesn't seem like a massively like it should be a massively demanding game because it doesn't seem much different. It's not like they added 
uh, ray tracing, as far as I can tell. I don't think this game has ray tracing. Maybe it does, though. So there's no real reason why the performance should, should be this bad. Uh, still, it's playable. And like I said, if you're a casual gamer on Mac, then I think this will be good enough for you, probably. Even if it does dip down to the 40s. But I definitely can sympathize. Uh, I can sympathize with people who have been playing this game on their Mac uh, locally because it was a native game before and they completely dropped Mac support, which is a real shame. I hope they do add native uh, Mac support as well. I don't think my Mac would be able to handle the game very well, even if it was native. This is quite a demanding game. But I think people who spent a lot of time and hours on the game playing the game natively already, who probably have, um, you know, they got into the habit of playing on their Mac and they won't be able to play anymore, which is really sh uh, a real shame for those players. I hope Valve does eventually release this game to Mac for those people who don't have the luxury or, or the good enough connection to play through GFN or they want the very best latency then GFN might not be an option for them and cloud gaming just might not be something that they, they want to do they want to have games local which I understand is fine some people for some people cloud gaming is good enough for some people it's not I think if you want to play this game ultra competitively then you either want to upgrade to GFN Ultimate, which will give you lower latency, and it will give you 120 FPS at 4K or 240 FPS at 1080p, which should give you a good enough performance, even if you are someone who really plays competitively. Um, so yeah, I might I might upgrade to GFN Ultimate just to try it out and see if it performs better. But I would be testing at 4K resolution. Right now it's only running at 1080p. And it's still not quite managing 60fps. I don't know if maybe that could be due to my settings. These are all on high. So maybe if I do reduce that. Or I could enable FSR. I could put it on quality. And we could see if that affects things. So, yeah, I think the FPS did go up a very little bit, but not, not really enough to justify the hit to the visual quality. And it's still dipping down to 40, so I, I don't think I would use FSR. The other thing that you would probably want to do is disable shadows. That's something I always do, because they never really do anything for me. I don't really care about shadows. And they normally have quite a big performance hit. So now I've put that on the lowest. Let's see if it's still dipping down below 60. So it's dipping down to around 55. Not quite as bad as it was before, where it was dipping down to the 40s. Okay, yeah, so it does still dip down. Hmm. I think you would have to run this all at everything at lowest to be able to get a stable 60 FPS. But yeah, that didn't seem to have much of an effect, to be honest. Shader, shadow. So that was. Uh, CS2. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Thanks for watching.